How's it going, folks? Oh, crap. Well, that didn't go as planned. Let's try it again. How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. So today, doing a little outdoor maintenance. Getting rid of my old crusty motion light that I've had up here for years. And we're going to be installing the ring motion light, which will connect into some of my other smart lights at the house. Not too long ago, I bought and installed the video doorbell, the ring doorbell here. And I've already installed one ring motion light up here. So the way it works is when our doorbell sees motion of somebody coming up the stairs here, it sends notice over to my light here. The ring light back here comes on. And by adding another one up here and replacing this piece of junk, everything will be wired together. So when one light comes on, the ring doorbell will come on, this light will come on, and if this light comes on, that will go on, and the other light will go on, and well, you know, all the different combinations there. So let's go ahead and uh, get this piece of junk down and get the other one installed. Alright, so while I'm getting this set up, make sure you click down below, hit that subscribe button, also hit the like button, and if this thing's changed with YouTube all the time, hit that notification bell, and you'll get notice of all my uploads, because if you don't, well, sometimes you don't know when I put new things up. Alright, get the light bulbs out here. Yeah, right, get this unscrewed here. Let's disconnect these wires. That's done, we can go ahead. Get rid of that piece of junk. Let's get the new one installed. So to check and see if your power is off, you just wanna go ahead and lick your fingers and touch the wire. I'm just kidding. I made sure the power was off before we went ahead and did this, so. All right, let's, um, let's go get the new light out of the box. So everything you need comes in the box here. And one important thing when you're doing this is inside the box, there's a little code that comes with it. I don't know if you can see that there. Don't lose that, because this is something you're gonna need to use the app to get everything hooked together. So just set that aside and don't lose that. It also comes with all the tools and the mounting hardware you'll need, although a lot of times I like to use my own tools. And then, here's the light. And uh, as you can see, it's only two wires, so it's a pretty nice, easy install. All right, if you have an existing bracket here, you can go ahead and take that off because Ring comes with their own special one that will then, you'll mount this to it. So in putting it up here too, you'll see it has a front and a ground, but you actually won't need this ground thing. You actually need to make sure that the ground is mounted inside of here. I'm not sure why it has the ground, but if you read the instructions in the booklet, it says to make sure that it's grounded inside here. Let's go ahead and put the screw back in this existing hole here. So you'll notice here that I have an extra red wire. I won't need that for this light, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cap that off. Just twist that on there like that. And then what I like to do, just to be safe, put a little electrical tape around it so it doesn't slip off. Shove that back up in here. Nice thing you can do is you're gonna have your little gasket here and you've got your little thing here and just make sure your wire holes line up and that just sticks on there like that. And when that's stuck on, you can see it's got a little up arrow here. So you're gonna slide that through your wires, like so. And then that center there lines up with the bracket you just put on and you've got your wires here. Then we're just gonna go ahead and take the screw that they gave us 
and screw this in. All right, so the, for the purpose of this, I'm gonna use the little ring tool that they gave me. It's just a little Phillips head and a flat head that just reversible and it goes in. Um, and then I believe in the instructions, the they ask you to use the screw letter F when using this. So gonna make sure here that this is up. That screw just goes in. I'll use the little Phillips head that they gave me. and help secure the gasket around there. Now let's separate our wires. So also what's good, what comes with the light, is they give you this little hook. So you can just hook it through here, and then you can hang it right here. So the light stays there while you're working on everything. I mean, this is pretty simple from here. You take off the black and connect the black to the black and the white to the white. Then like I mentioned before, I just like to use a little electrical tape, keep everything sort of in place in case it wants to pull out. <laughs> Not a pretty tape job this time, but I'm slowly running out of daylight here because it gets dark out so damn early. Can't tell on the camera, but it's getting dark fast. Not sure what accent I'm talking, but All right, now all we're gonna do is shove these wires back in. All right, wires push back in. You can remove your little hook. Then there's the two holes here, and there's two holes on the light here. That just slides on. Put in the second screw now. All right, and that is it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now that the light is all up and installed, you can go ahead and you know move these around whichever way you want, blah, 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 whichever way you want here, and move your sensor around. Oh, all right. So now that that's done, we should be all set to go ahead, turn the power back on, and well, let's give it a test. Got the breakers back on, voila, light. So the one big thing that's holding all of this together is something called the ring bridge. I think it's 50 bucks on Amazon or you can buy one of the lights here and the bridge is a bundle. I think it was $90 when I got it. Um, that helps all of this stuff talk together at the same time. So you have to have that before you set this up with the ring app and everything else. And I'll, I'll leave a link in the description down below to everything that I've bought so you guys can go ahead and uh, get the same stuff yourself. And now that the light is up, we're going to go ahead and get it set up. Like I said, make sure you don't lose that piece of paper that has that little scan barcode on it and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so I'm hoping you guys can see this okay. Um, so once you download the Ring app, we're going to go up to the three bars, we're going to set up a device. Go down here to smart lighting, continue for your address, and this is where that code comes in handy. So we're gonna scan the code, waiting for your floodlight wired. And right now it's just installing an update, so we'll wait for that to finish. Then once it's done, we can add it to the group. So I'm gonna add it to my group. I have one called side. So this one I'm gonna call, what the hell should I call it? We're just gonna call it front, I know. Very creative. Now this is connecting to what I said, the bridge inside, which will connect everything together. So I can do anything with all of them. All right, now it's connected. It's connected with Alexa, which I can do inside. Uh, setup is complete and that is it. That's as easy as this whole thing is. All right, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you wanna see more things like this, drop a comment down below. As I mentioned before, hit that subscribe button. If you're not already a VT Outdoor Man subscriber, and as always, I will catch you on the next video. Peace.